So what do you know about David? The original rags to riches story. Starts off as a shepherd boy, kills a giant, marries a princess, gets the king to chase after him for a while. He didn't want that one. And then finally becomes one of the greatest kings of all of Israel's history. Well, if you like those stories, you will be excited to know that there is an all new David animated feature being worked on by Sunrise Productions and Angel Studios. And it's animated by all things. It's about time we get a big budget animated picture based on the Bible. I can only watch Prince of Egypt so many times. No! No! So in preparation for the film, just to kind of test the waters, the studios decide they want to make a short film about David, and that's what we'll be reviewing today. The David Movie Demo. I'm going to tell you a story about a boy named Dave. So David, while doing target practice, kind of loses track of the smallest sheep and has to go, well, save him. Climbs down this amazing looking cliff all the way down to where the sheep is. But before he can get there, he has a moment of doubt. He almost slips and falls to his death. Has a moment of peace, looking up to the sky, getting some like a little bit of reassurance from God. And he goes to reach out for this itsy bitsy baby sheep. No! And they tumble in this amazing peace. As they fall, they fall, they fall. Boom, is David dead? Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, obviously we're not mufasa this whole situation. He's alive. Saves the sheep, brings the baby sheep home. <laughs> Continue. Now, here's the deal. It's a very simple premise, and I think that, like, when I was taking animation in school, that was what we did when we wanted to just kind of demonstrate our skills. So, a short little story, it fits into the canon. It's a little reminiscent of the parable of the Good Shepherd. And it's professional looking. I mean, I could see this on the big screen. Let's talk about the designs for a second. David and Tally are your only real main characters here. Tally being the sheep, you've seen the design, cute little tuft of hair, nothing too much to write home about, but adorable. Sounds like a human baby. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm trying to protect us from this Philistine. Oh. Uncomfortable. David. He kind of has that faux Disney thing going on meets Michelangelo's David statue. Like if you look at the hair, it's very obvious. And something I really loved about the design was he wears his sling like a wristwatch. And if you pay attention when he's climbing, you can see it's on his wrist. And he uses it later on to, of course, save the sheep. On his other wrist, he has kind of a blue and white friendship bracelet looking thing, which I think is a reference to his Jewish heritage. If you ever see the flag of Israel, you'll see a lot of blue and white. I think that's creative. I think that um, we also get to see his character, which is fantastic because Far too many times when people do Bible stories, they just want to tell the story and not make them people. We get to see he's a little clumsy. We get to see that he's brave. We get to see that he's caring and empathetic. We get to see that he's spiritual because he takes a moment to pray. And these are all great aspects and parts of the David character in the Bible. So I think that's fantastic. They took what they were given and they demonstrated it all on screen. I mean, this is filmmaking. I loved um, the angles that they took on some of the shots. And actually, let's talk about the environment. Now, there's a couple people who worked on this short who also worked on Prince of Egypt. And I am a huge fan of some of the techniques they used in making the Prince of Egypt epic. For example, the side of the cliff, I think, is amazing. I don't know if a cliff like that exists in that region of Israel. They mentioned they had some archaeologists look around and give them um, basically pointers on what the area should look like. But this cliff is massive. And it reminds me of how in Prince of Egypt, they took monuments and they blew them up. Like they made them bigger. So they kind of invoke this type of sense of awe. And I know that some people are like, oh, well, shouldn't it be 100% accurate? I'm like, well, no, they're telling a story. It needs to feel more accurate. Like if you watch Prince of Egypt, it's completely inaccurate on a lot of issues, but it feels right. Like it gets the message out there. So... I love that moment. Um, I also love the fact that when God speaks to David, it's not like an audible voice. It's kind of like a reassurance before he goes through. And when David saves his sheep, he's thanking God. I think that uh, they have a pretty good product here, and I would love to see more. I, I don't mind if David seems a little blah, a little bland, um, because if the characters around him are very interesting, you can make a really good film, 
right? Like you can have this wacky sense of characters and then David is kind of our in into the story. Yeah, other than that, beautiful shots. The colors are fantastic. We get to watch kind of midday turn into night. Um, the lighting is great. The, the, the tension and the camera angles to build that tension are fantastic. I'm looking forward to this product, especially because this is the studio. Let's talk about the studios right now. Angel Studio, which was formerly VidAngel, um, they're known for making The Chosen. I think it's a fantastic thing. I've been meaning to review it, but I haven't gotten around to it. And considering how bad Christian animation tends to be... Lick my sandals, slave. That means you, Moses. That's right. I'm Prince of Egypt, and you're my slave. Draw my bath, slave. No! No! I'm glad that there is a group of people trying to make something decent with some of these like fundamental stories of Christianity and Judaism. Let's talk about Angel Studios. It was originally called VidAngel and it kind of began as a group of Mormon guys wanting to make Hollywood more pure. They would take big movies, imagine it was like the Avengers and you just felt like Black Widow was just too dang sexy. They would give you a cut of that film where you didn't have any of that sexualization around or too much violence or whatever. VidAngel lets you watch filtered movies for just one dollar. Yes, a dollar. That's how much you pay at a lemonade stand. Except this won't give you Giardia. Here's the deal, they didn't own the Avengers. Obviously Disney didn't. Disney was like, yo, you making money off of our film? Oh, well we're cutting it, they would say. Yeah, no, let's sue you. So they got really heavily sued until they were bankrupt. And honestly, if it had not been for The Chosen, we would not be hearing about this company today. Chosen basically was their first major um, self-produced program, and that's basically what took them out from the dirt. Regardless, um, now they're trying to do more original programming. They've changed their name to Angel Studios, and some of the stuff actually looks really good. I'm looking forward to the Wingfeather Saga, which is kind of like a fantasy adventure about a group of kids and their special talents. Um, it kind of looks like Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, so I love that game, at least the design for that game, and I think this show would be amazing. It has the music writer from VeggieTales, Kurt Heineke, and Chris Wall, who is one of the producers, I believe, from VeggieTales, and it actually is really neat. It's based on a fantasy book series, and yo, if this becomes the standard for Christian animation, that is impressive. I'm not excited for Tuttle Twins. Um, their politics might not align with mine, but hey, if you like that series, go ahead, check it out, fund it if you want. All I'm saying is David is something I really would love to get some eyes on. Go check it out. I think we could use more movies like this. The concept art is beautiful. Um, but yeah, speaking of the animation, it's done by Sunrise Productions. Um, they did a show called Jungle Beat, which eventually became a movie, and it was on Netflix, so if you want to go check out their stuff. And um, yeah, hopefully in a couple of years, I'm talking about the movie movie, and not just this short. Let me know what you guys think about the David short in the comments when you go out and watch it. It's free on YouTube, and um, I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Thanks, and that's the SDA Storyteller, signing off. Yan Geni Bem Galet Sede